what is up guys welcome back to the channel so obviously i'm in a different location today i am in the western north carolina great smoky mountains with my family however some breaking news on the liam payne case and my wife gave me permission to do a quick video on that so what we're going to do first is i'm going to show you a video by cbs news where three people have officially been charged in connection with not in the death, but in connection with the death of Liam Payne. So we're going to watch that video real quick. And then I'm also going to read you the article from CBS News. That's what we're going to do. Before we get started, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below. I have a lot of people following this story. I love to receive that stuff in my comments. So please let me know. So let's get this thing going. Prosecutor's office in Argentina announced criminal charges today against three people in the death of Liam Payne. The former One Direction singer fell from a hotel balcony in Buenos Aires last month. Authorities say Payne had traces of alcohol, cocaine, and antidepressants in his system when he died. One of the suspects is a hotel worker. Authorities say another is a drug dealer. The third is someone who had been accompanying Payne during his stay in Buenos Aires. One person, authorities say, spent time with Payne every day while he was in Buenos Aires is charged with abandonment of a person followed by death, a charge that carries a sentence of 5 to 15 years in prison. I had actually never heard of a charge such as this. I found this very interesting. Keep going here. The other two charged are accused of supplying Payne with drugs, including cocaine, and have been charged with two acts, each of supplying narcotics. Officials did not say what the sentence for those charges could be. One of the people charged with supplying narcotics is a hotel employee. Three people charged have been notified of the charges and also prohibited from leaving the country. They're in some shit, brother, I'm telling you. The release also stated that Payne died from a fall and had not jumped from the balcony. Officials had not previously confirmed which version of events had happened, but the prosecutor's office said that Payne was likely not fully conscious or was experiencing a state of noticeable decrease or loss of consciousness at the time of the fall. I have talked about this relentlessly, especially with the concern of there being alcohol also on board benzodiazepine, clonazepam. I've had some experience with clonazepam. You take too much of that. It can be no bueno for your state of consciousness. The investigation included nine raids on homes in the region and dozens of interviews with hotel staff. Investigators also reviewed more than 800 hours of video footage from the hotel and public roads and conducted a forensic analysis of Payne's cell phone to review his digital footprint in the period leading up to his death. An autopsy was conducted after that. Payne's body was returned to his father, Jeff Payne, who had been in Argentina since the day after his death. Toxicology tests conducted as part of the autopsy showed, and listen to this, I found this very surprising, that Payne only had traces, in quotes, only had traces of drug use in his system. I don't know much, but the word traces indicates that he didn't have a whole lot of Three things that it lists here, traces of alcohol, cocaine, and the prescription antidepressant. We now know is clonopin, clonazepam. Medical experts found that Payne only had injuries from his fall, which I did a video the other day, a forensic investigator who was a professional in this field. He had an issue with the fact that all 25 of these injuries happen with one single fall and he used the example of if you drop a bag of flour off of a three-story balcony there's going to be a point of impact where that bag explodes and where the damage is going to be the worst where it hits the 25 injuries all synonymous with that one single fall he was very surprised by that he also used the analogy like hey if you're falling down a, pl a flight of stairs, you're pinballing, you're bouncing off of things, then you could sell me on that. But one single fall, one single impact, 25 injuries, that sounded off to him. So I think, you know, in the coming days and weeks, we will learn more. But uh, as of right now, it's showing that there were only traces of these three things found in his system. It doesn't say anything about the pink cocaine. We know for sure that pink cocaine was found in his room. It doesn't mention that in the toxicology report here. Maybe we'll learn more on that later. That's pretty much it, guys. If you've been following this story and you have 
any information so far that I've not mentioned in here, please leave it in the comments. I'm pretty sure that the one individual that is being charged with abandonment of a person followed by death is a guy named Roger. I have a subscriber who has been feeding me quite a lot of information. She's very familiar with Liam Payne. She has studied this and looked a lot into this. There apparently is a friend of his that was with him almost that whole time that he was in Buenos Aires. So I'm pretty sure it's that guy whose name is Roger. I do not know the last name, but I think he is the one that is being charged with the abandonment of a person followed by death. So anyway... That's it. If you've not subscribed to the channel, please like the video and leave a comment down below. And hey, don't be afraid to become a member. Level 1 Lunch Breakers, $2.99 a month. Level 2 Lunch Breakers, $4.99 a month. $3 a month. $5 a month. And with that, you can really do a lot for this channel and helping it grow. So if you appreciate this work, give me a thanks in that way. See you guys next time.